Contactless payment cards and services like Apple Pay are super useful. We use them every day for everything from buying that coffee in the morning that helps us put up with people to getting on public transport on our way to work or uni or school or whatever you do in your life. But what exactly happens when you tap your card on your phone on the reader and you get that beep? Well, the whole process of steps that just happens in that fraction of a second is defined in a standard called EMV, named after the three companies that founded it. Europay, Mastercard, Visa. While there was earlier standards and technologies in countries like Germany and France, this standard is the, well, standard. And these predecessors have pretty much been superseded. The standard defines a couple of things. Firstly, the hardware that needs to be on the card, the hardware that the readers need to have, and the software and communication protocols between the two of them. If you have a close look at your card under a light, you can see that under the chip, there's, well, a chip, a tiny little processor and a piece of memory. Connected to this chip is a coil that receives power from the reader to run it, as well as act as antennas to transmit and receive data from the reader. When you put your card near the reader, it gets caught up in a magnetic field. This provides the card with power and starts the chip. This chip then broadcasts a message and establishes a connection with the reader. Once this connection is established, the card sends its type. This represents the issuer. And once the reader has this, it starts a specific piece of code for this card type called a kernel. They then communicate backwards and forwards, confirming that they're both legitimate. Once this is confirmed, the card generates a code that's unique to both this reader and can only be used once. The reader sends this code back up to the card issuer. The card issuer then takes that code and checks its records for the bank that that card belongs to and sends a request with the amount of the transaction and other information relating to the transaction onto the card's bank. Bank then checks the account for things like whether it's active and if it has the funds for the transactions available. The bank then responds to the card issuer whether or not this is the case or whether there's other things needed like a PIN. Card issuer then takes this information and appends any updates it wants to send to the card while it's you know connected to a reader and available onto the package and sends that back up to the reader. Finally on the reader, this package is opened. Those updates are sent to the software and the memory on the card so that the card can, you know, keep in touch with the card issuer. And the response is read. If the transaction was successful and nothing else is pending, you get the approved message and you get your coffee. If it's pending and needs something like a pin, that's asked for, collected, and can even be compared with a key that's sent on that package from the card issuer, it could be sent to the card itself, which using the information it's stored, can check whether the pin is valid or not and respond that to the reader, or it can be sent back up to the card issuer and checked there. Of course, if that pin is legitimate, your transaction is approved. Well, the final thing that can come back from the card issuer is that the transaction is just declined, in which case, you know, the transaction is just declined. And that's pretty much it. While a lot more nitty gritty things do happen in there, the basic process is as simple as that. And if you wanna have a look in a little bit more detail, all these standards are open. You can go onto the EVM website and you can download a series of enormous PDFs that define every minute step. But in essence, that's what happens when you tap your card and you get a beep in return.